Hey guys, Lucky here. Um, without any further ado, I wanted to get my guide out for Season 2. Uh, just so y'all can start farming your own analysis and, uh, and kind of review the changes that happened uh, for the Diablo fight in Season 2. And go over the character that I'm using now uh, that I think is the best to farm uh, Diablo. So, uh, with Season 2 came some changes to the fight. Uh, some of those being that uh, Diablo Clone's life pool was increased drastically. Uh, the majority of his attacks stayed the same from Season 1. So you can check out my video uh, about the Season 1 clone uh, where I go over more in depth all the elements of those skills and what we can do to protect against them uh, in order to survive the fight. Uh, another change that happened in Season 2 was... The nerf to crushing blow and now crushing blow no longer will deal any sort of damage past 65 percent life so once you get any boss in the game to 65 percent of their life crushing blow is no longer effective so rather than doing the bladeson build for season two we came up with something different uh in the form of this sorceress so um this is the character that We've been able to kill the Apple Clone the quickest in. Uh, our times are under three minutes now. Uh, and I'll do an example run in just a moment. Uh, some of the other changes in Season 2 were the addition of an invincibility aura for Diablo Clone, where you have to be inside the ring in order to deal damage. And you'll see what that's like when I start the fight. Uh, and then another change, which I'm really excited about, are the new Diablo Clone items. Uh, so here are what they look like and we are just really excited to uh, find some of the first ones ever found uh, on the live realm um, so we're gonna be our quest for these is is gonna go on until we have found at least one or maybe all of them uh, we're doing live Diablo clones on my stream so there's a link in the description come by follow us um, if it's your first time getting an Annihilus or first time doing a Diablo clone, uh, I have promised to run your Diablo clone for free. Uh, I will do everyone's first Diablo clone for free this season, uh, just so one, you can get an Annihilus, uh, and you don't have to pay for any service if you can't afford it. And two, it gives us another chance to find these really cool items. So, uh, I just think that's uh, a win-win. It's a way that I can kind of give back and help you guys out. So make sure you follow my Twitch when I'm streaming, and uh, and I will I will be hosting a ton of community events where I just run Diablo clones for everyone, um, with you providing me with the the materials. So um, the materials have not changed since uh, season one. So it's still just the Black Soul Stone, which you find from Uber Tristram. Um, the drop rates are a little bit more rare on the Black Sto Soul Stone this season rather than previous seasons. They were dropping like candy before. And I'd say they're about a 1 in 3 shot off the Uber Tristram bosses now. Uh, so that's one of the three ingredients. The other is the Pure Demonic Essence. They drop from map bosses with about a 1 in 100 chance, just like last season. And the Primeval Soul also remains unchanged. 1 in 100 chance to drop off of Hell, Diablo, and Bale, the normal version of them. So you put these three in the cube, transmute, and you're left with these red balls. Uh, each one of these summons the Diablo Clone event and begins the fight. So we will start a fight right now so you can kind of see what it looks like on the Sorceress. And then I'll go through the gear uh, and kind of explain my thought processes on all of the items I've chosen. And hopefully this will help you build your own Diablo Clone Killer. So that we have more people out there farming for those great items uh, and, and we can really start to see some on uh, on the live ladder. So just to 
confirm with everyone this is on the live servers. Pop that up. So we're going to go in, we're going to start the fight, and we're going to immediately BO. Then we're going to pop some Hydras. And we're not doing any damage yet because we're outside of the ring. Uh, we're going to pop in and hit him with a quick static. So you can use static field on the apple clone. Uh, and that's because of how large his life pool is, that really helps speed up the fight. And then essentially, so this is his lightning physical laser attack. Uh, there are meteors just raining down every side. You have the Bone Spirits, which, again, I'll just refresh your memory. They deal physical and magic damage. The Firestorm, which deals physical and fire. And this Bale-style Nova deals pure cold damage. And a lot of it. So you don't want to get hit by that. Okay, so the majority of the fight is spent running around, making sure that we try to take as few hits as possible while our Hydras just melt them. So we're already at about half life remaining. Every once in a while, you'll want to refresh your Hydras. They last about 10 seconds long. Uh, to my knowledge, I am the only one doing these live Diablo clones on the server, uh, live on stream. So, if, uh, if you want to hang out, if you want to be one of the first to see those Diablo clone items when they do drop live on the server. Um, my stream will probably be the one where we'll, uh, we'll be able to see those. So make sure you stop by and uh, claim your free Diablo clone service as well uh, for you first timers who have not yet gotten an Annihilus this season be happy to do that for you. We'll get some good content. So here you see he's gonna go down. Maybe we'll get the item from him this time? No, nothing. <laughs> that would have been uh that would have been funny if it dropped for the video. So I'm just gonna rejoin and pick that up. So one caveat of the fight is that the portal stays open after you kill after you kill the Alba clone. So we can go in, we can pick up that Annie on a different character, uh, and that way, the reason I do that is because I get to use an Annie of my own. Uh, which boosts up my damage and makes the attack, uh, the, the whole fight go quicker. Uh, so usually we use around uh, 25 to 30 rejuvenation potions uh, per fight, uh, and that's what a typical fight will look like. Um, we took a lot of damage that fight. Wasn't really paying close attention, but um, they usually go pretty smooth. So uh, Now we'll go over the gear. My weapon is an Ashuda's plus three sorceress skills with some fire damage. And it has two sockets, and it's socketed with two th uh, 15 all res jewels. So that is to help boost my resistances for the fight, as you'll see on my character screen here. I have 95 fire res, 90 cold, 87 light. 
And uh, these are really the three main elements of damage that are being dealt in the Diablo Clone fight. Uh, so we want to make sure all of our res are capped and as high as possible. Uh, so we're using the jewels to get that res and we're using these shooters to get a ton of damage so the fight goes quicker. Uh, Shaco, this is for more skills, right? We want to get our damage as high as possible just so that we can take him down. We're going to we're gonna be doing a ton of these clones and I wanted to make this character as efficient and as quick uh, to take down the Diablo clone as possible. Um, I don't believe there's any character that does Diablo clone as quick as mine currently. Uh, so that's, you know, that was all with, with you guys in mind. If I'm going to be doing this uh, for all of you, I want to make sure that we can get as many Diablo clones in as possible. Uh, so here we have uh, Shaco for the plus skills uh, and a ton of life, which is really helpful for the fight. And then damage reduction. Um, there is a lot of physical damage that's being dealt in the fight, and I am using Shaco to get to my 50 damage reduction cap. Uh, this amulet is just great for the fight, and just kind of in general for any sort of fire character. We've got three fire skills, 10 faster cast rate, and two maximum all resistances. This helps boost up our max resist even, even further so that we're taking less damage in the fight and giving us a ton of damage. Uh, Guardian Angel, this has two open sockets. I haven't used the other socket just because I'm still kind of playing around with what I want to put in it. Um, but this had a max lightning res corrupt. Uh, it's got a ton of cold and max fire res. Uh, so this this piece we just use to help really, you know, boost our, our max res. Um, I've got the shells in the Shaco so I can hit uh, a nice break point. Uh, Storm Shield, this is for more damage reduction. Uh, we've got a Vex, Vex, and an Um in it. Um to help with our resistances, and Vex to help boost up our maximum fire resistance so that we can hit that 95 max fire res, because the majority of the damage that you're taking in that fight is fire, uh, and we want to make sure that this is as high as possible, which it is. Mage Fist with all resistance corruption. Uh, this is so that we can help boost our resistances, deal more damage, uh, helps us hit another faster cast rate breakpoint. Uh, great gloves for the fight. Raven Frost for the 10% cold absorb. Um, the Veil style Nova that deals pure cold damage is very strong, and this helps if we were to get hit by it for us to be able to survive. Uh, Verdungos, this is for more damage reduction, and we have a max all resist corruption. Another reason why I like this belt is for all the vitality and life that that helps and adds. Uh, so this is really the best all-around defensive belt for this fight if you're playing on a caster. Dwarf Star for the Fire Absorb. <clears throat> um, as I mentioned before, fire is the element of damage that we're taking the most during the fight. Uh, so uh, the Dwarf Star really helps uh, mitigate some of that damage. Water Walks for the plus max fire res and the 40% faster run walk a ton of life and this one actually slammed for plus max cold res to bring up our cold resistance um, these are just really great boots for multiple reasons um, you could go with hot spurs to get even more fire res but i like the faster run walk on this as you'll notice in the fight i don't really teleport but teleport around much uh, mostly just running around to avoid things it's easier to manage and so the 40 faster run walk on these is really helpful for that as well. On the swap, I have a CTA. And this is just a shield with a bunch of fire res so that in case I get hit by something fire while I'm BOing, it doesn't, it doesn't one-shot me. Uh, for my charms, it's just a mixture of guys' life and resistances. Whichever resistances I need, some faster hit recovery so that I hit breakpoints. Okay. And the grand charms are fire skillers, also with life. Uh, Hellfire torch with a ton of vitality, and an annihilus with high vitality as well. So here's the stat screen, and then here's the overall stat screen. Um, my faster hit recovery is 55. It should be 60. Um, I misplaced one of my charms before doing this video. Uh, but 
the better fast hit, re hit recovery you have, the quicker you'll recover from those those hits if you get you get hit by something. Um, here are all my res. Uh, this is what my capped res are. These are what my max res are. Here you'll see I have 50% damage reduction, uh, which is the cap, and that helps us with all those physical attacks. 70 faster cast rate, uh, so I'm hitting a little bit of a quicker break point for laying my hydras. Uh, it doesn't affect how quickly the hydras shoot, but just how quickly I can lay them down. Uh, so there's that, and then the final thing I'll go over are the skills that I use. Uh, obviously, you're going to go down the tree, uh, do all your Hydra skills, and the main skill that you're going to be using is actually Lesser Hydra, and not the Greater Hydra, and I'll show you why. Um, since the Diablo clone fight is all single target, uh, we really don't need the fireball splashes of the Greater Hydra. Um, so, when you look at the damage comparisons, the Greater Hydra is dealing around 7,000 to 7.8 thousand damage per uh, attack. Uh, but the Lesser Hydra is actually dealing almost twice that. So we're dealing around 12 to 13,000 damage every single Firebolt that's shot. Every Firebolt is going to go directly to Diablo Clone and hit him. Uh, so if you think about it, three Hydras each have three heads. So we're shooting nine of these. We're doing over 100,000 damage, guys, every time those Hydras shoot off um, their Firebolts. So a ton of damage. So we're going to want to make sure we hit all the synergies for this, which are Firebolt, Hydra, and Fire Mastery. So those are all maxed out. In addition to that, on our Lightning skill tree, we have pumped a few additional stat points into Static Field. Uh, and this is with the intention of increasing our range of Static Field. Uh, as I mentioned, Static Field can work on Diablo Clone, and it helps speed up the fight a lot. So you want to make sure you're using this. Uh, we bumped up the stat points on it so that we could increase our range and static him from a safe distance. Uh, that just kind of helps make sure that we're applying our static, because if we don't get it in then um, the fight will just take longer and we don't want that. And then uh, I put some of the additional skills into teleport just so I can teleport around sometimes and I don't take too much of a, a hit to the, to the damage. So. Uh, so as you can see, guys, I've, I've done about 100 of these now at this point in the season. Um, I'm always running them and be happy to... You know run them for you guys so i'll do one more plug for the twitch stream uh come by hang out with us i uh i'm gonna run all of my followers diablo clones for free for the first time as long as it's your first annihilus uh that's something that i'd like to do to help you guys out and uh and i hope this video helps as well if you have any additional questions uh let me know uh, in the comments below if you have an idea of like which is going to be one of the first Diablo clone items that we're going to find on stream, uh, whether it's going to be the, the sword, the armor piece, the helm, the boots, the claws, I'd be excited with any of them. Uh, let me know what you think is the first one we're going to find. Uh, and guys, until next time, I hope you appreciated the video. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in stream, and, uh, and we're going to be doing a ton of Diablo clones this season, so I uh, look forward to that as well. I'll see you guys later.